Hi guys, uh, everything new under the sun uh, coming to you to um, talk about um, this app for uh, Mac OS X and um, just want to show it to you it's a fan control app and um, let me just uh, see if I can pull up the main interface here it's called uh, TG Pro now what this uh, I have a, a 2008 early 2008 MacBook Pro and um, it had issues with Nvidia where the <clears throat> um, basically the the chipset would overheat and the solder would start bawling and uh, become disconnected from the logic board so the main you know the fix is to take your logic board and put it in your oven and I did videos on that and you can uh, search my channel there and see the videos on the uh, the fixing the MacBook Pros I actually did it to two MacBook Pros um, but once it was going what I did was uh, I purchased um, this TG Pro app and what it does is it monitors um, the temperature which you see here and it puts it in your menu bar um, and it, you can uh, you can change what it's displayed here so right now I have the CPU temperature and then the uh, the GPU diode temperature sorry the uh, CPU diode and the GPU diode temperature they seem to be the hottest running uh, items um, that the sensors are returning and you can actually uh, monitor the CPU proximity, the, the heat sink on the GPU, um, left and right heat sink, palm rest temperature. Uh, you can even uh, monitor the hard drive temperature, which I don't have hooked up. Um, I have an SSD, so it runs pretty cool. I think the, when I looked at it, it was 35 degrees Celsius. Um, and the other cool thing is if you upgrade to the Pro version, this TG Pro, <coughs> excuse me, you can actually um, control the fans and um, I'll show you the uh, the fan speed here <coughs> so if you see at the bottom here the left and right side it shows you um, the the fan RPM so they're running about uh, just under 2000 RPM and I can actually go and adjust uh, the fan but I've actually set uh, presets here um, and now you gotta get the pro version to enable this um, but what I've done is I, I've uh, added uh, an auto boost and I said uh, when the average temperature is above 70 degrees Celsius um, I want to increase the um, the CPU uh, or sorry the fans by 50% I want to increase the, the speed by 50% so um, this works great and um, so uh, what it allows me to do is keep good tabs on the uh, logic board, make sure it's cool. You see I'm running about 80 degrees Celsius on the CPU diode. Um, so I can, what I can do in here is uh, whoops, put in 100% uh, CPU fan and um, turn that down. And then what happens is the, uh, the CPU will actually, or say the fans will actually come on. Now let's see if I can... Uh, show it to you here it should come on now let me just do it manual and so you can see what it's going so you can see there now see the um, CPU is uh, up to or sorry the fan is up to 4000 RPM so that was manual so if I put it back to auto here um, then it will um, auto set that so I'm gonna set it back to 50 um, and I actually think I had, yeah, I had my uh, temperature as a, a trigger when temperature is above a certain uh, limit here. So I'm, if I can put this down to 80, then I can set it up for notifications and to also turn on the fan when, when it's above a certain amount there. So um, it works pretty good. Here is, uh, this is the option where I can check the hard drive temperature uh, or not. Um, and let's see. Here's the hard drive. So if I click on hard drive, I can see my hard drive is about 34 degrees. It is a crucial SSD. It's going to run uh, fairly cool anyways. So I'm not too concerned about that. But you can get uh, the notifications that pop up uh, kind of in the uh, top right corner there. Uh, but I kind of turn that off. It's annoying. 
what I do do is um, leave this um, to auto turn on the fan if it gets starts getting too hot because I want to be very gentle with this logic board um, so yeah th this seems to work on um, this is called TG Pro and it shows you all the temperatures and also the average temperature and the max temperature there and uh, some diagnostics at the bottom which is kinda cool so right now my CPU is running a bit hot because I'm rendering a video in iMovie and so that's expected um, but I want the uh, temperature of the uh, CPU not especially like definitely not to get above a hundred degrees Celsius because uh, what it means then is it's going to start causing uh, potential issues and, and my logic board is going to start to break down uh, again and I don't want to have to take it out again. So that is my review of TG Pro. Um, I definitely recommend getting it if you're running an old MacBook uh, Pro that has heat issues and um, probably any um, laptop if you're running it, if you're putting it on couches and on sheets and stuff, this is a good app just to ensure that you're not uh, cooking your laptop at all so I definitely recommend it you can see there 2800 RPM um, was the last update there so it, it kinda puts it up and down as needed to make sure the uh, the logic board is at whatever cool enough temperature you decide alright that, that's my review there guys um, I recommend it. it's about fifteen dollars to get the uh, from the app store plus the uh, upgrade to be able to control the fan speed so check it out.